dots, directly observed treatment short course. The DOT strategy of treatment, or directly observed treatment short course, is today considered a very good strategy, which is very effective and ensures the cure and prevention of tuberculosis. The principal objectives of the DOTS method is to diagnose and completely cure the patient of tuberculosis. The DOTS strategy of treatment has five essential components. The World Health Organization introduced a new strategy for treatment of tuberculosis. It is called DOTS. It means Directly Observed Treatment Short Course. The WHO introduced this method in 1993 and we commenced using it in Sri Lanka in 1996. The first of its five special components is the involvement of the government in implementing this method. A commitment by the political and national leaders is required. The second feature is the need to identify those who have the disease. This is done by getting all those patients who come to the health clinics to do a sputum smear microscopy, which will help to diagnose and identify the patients. It is simple, inexpensive, and a quick method which we recommend. The third requirement is to ensure that those who have been diagnosed with the disease are given the world's best TB treatment course, which is the six-month prescription of medication. In the first two months of the course, the treatment should be given under close supervision by an observer. The fourth requirement is that all drugs prescribed for TB patients should be readily available everywhere, island-wide. There should be a well-planned, regular supply of drugs with no shortages. The fifth requirement of the DOT strategy is the need to ensure a well-regulated course of treatment and also have the patient's progress monitored and a record maintained of all his reports which will enable an accurate evaluation of the results of the treatment. What is the purpose of DOTS? The purpose of the DOTS treatment method is to ensure that patients following the DOTS treatment and taking the new standard prescribed drugs take their medication uninterrupted and strictly on schedule. New patients will be given a two-month supply of drugs and those starting a repeat course a three-month supply. They will be under close observation while being treated and subjected to further observation thereafter. In this way, we can be 100% sure that the patient is taking his medication. Why is direct observation of treatment necessary? Not even one-third of the TB patients who are required to take medication will do so voluntarily. It is also not possible to assess the number of patients who take their prescribed medication regularly. Therefore, especially in the first few months of treatment, when the medication should be taken strictly according to schedule, the DOTS treatment strategy serves a useful purpose. This is essential because the sputum microscopy diagnosis is better and helps to detect and cure about 85% of TB patients. This makes the DOT strategy the best available treatment to cure TB. Selecting a DOT treatment center. A patient who is registered with a district chest clinic can choose a health center within easy access of his residence to obtain his DOTS treatment. The patient can attend the DOTS treatment center for his daily dose of prescribed drugs, which will all be supplied by the district chest clinic on his behalf.
dot treatment centers. A dot treatment center is where a TB patient goes to have his daily dose of drugs under the supervision of the clinic staff who function as observers. Recognized DOTS treatment centers are located in government health institutions. The direct observers at these centers are doctors, nurses, public health inspectors, midwives, pharmacists, dispensers, and public health nurses. The benefits derived from the DOTS treatment method. There are many benefits the patient gets from the DOTS course of treatment, which we use to cure and control tuberculosis. TB patients have the advantage of being able to live with their families and also continue to engage in their jobs while following the DOTS method. It also ensures that the patient can obtain the prescribed drugs in the correct dosages for the required period as and when he requires it. This enables the patient to take his medication regularly and strictly according to schedule, which will help him get completely cured and restore him to his normal condition. It will also help to prevent spreading of TB and also prevents the emergence of multi-drug resistance in the country. What is the composition of the DOTS treatment team? Those who are policy or decision makers, those who refer suspected TB cases to the authorities, those who conduct the microscopy services, those who register the patients and refer them for DOTS treatment, those who function as observers to ensure the patient takes his medication, and those who are responsible for supervising and monitoring the patient's intake of medication and following up the results thereof. Functions of the staff of district chest clinics. The staff of the district chest clinics are responsible for all action necessary to control TB at the district level. They are also responsible for coordinating the national program for TB control and chest diseases at the national level. Among the major tasks that have to be performed in the drive against TB are to ensure that all suspected TB patients who are referred to the clinic are properly tested and diagnosed. Ensuring that the health centers providing the DOTS treatment are supplied their requirements of prescribed drugs. To monitor the implementation of the DOTS treatment in the district. Providing the treatment and observing the progress of patients who have been tested and diagnosed with TB. Facilities provided to patients who obtain treatment from district chest clinics, helping them obtain medical certificates, arranging for them to appear before medical boards to obtain fully paid leave, provision of financial assistance to patients with financial difficulties, recommending special medical leave for patients. The role of the policy formulators and decision makers a policy or decision maker should always be conscious of the fact that tuberculosis is not just a problem of the health sector, but a serious social problem as well. They should understand the impact the disease has on the national economy. They should provide the leadership to the campaign against TB 
and enlist the total support of the administration as well. They should ensure the provision of funding required to implement and further expand the DOCS treatment program in the entire area or district. They should be a partner in the current national TB control program. They must also ensure that all patients requiring DOCS treatment receive it without any exception. The duties and responsibilities of the DOTS observer. The observer of the DOTS treatment course is the person who observes the patient to ensure that he receives the prescribed course of drugs and takes it on schedule. The DOTS observer should educate all patients regarding the following information pertaining to TB. Cause of the disease, how the disease spreads, treatment, and prevention of the disease. The importance of the DOTS treatment method. Regular intake of the prescribed medication, taking the medication according to the schedule, ensuring the patient takes the correct dosage of drugs, ensuring that the drugs are taken within the specified period and informing the patient of possible after effects of the drugs and the treatment thereof. The DOCS observer can help to establish a relationship between the patient and mainstream health workers or volunteer health workers. This will enable them to take over the treatment of the patient if and when necessary. DOTS Observer plays an active role by providing patients with valuable advice. The duties and responsibilities of medical professionals. Doctors who treat TB patients have a special duty to perform. While acquiring the latest knowledge about TB, which will help him make a quick diagnosis, he should also consult and seek the advice of the professionals engaged in treating patients at the national level. He should support the TB control program being conducted at the district level, especially ensuring correct treatment and successful results of the patients taking the DOCS treatment. That is, have all suspected patients showing symptoms of the disease take the triple sputum test to ascertain the presence of bacteria, AFB. He must also ensure that all patients diagnosed with TB are referred to the district chest clinics to be registered for the DOCS treatment and provide all the facilities to patients in the clinic. Therefore, the medical officers at this clinic have two major tasks, to diagnose the disease and give the best treatment and thereby ensure a valuable service to patients. Duties and responsibilities of NGOs. In 1948, a certain voluntary group decided to assist the government's efforts to control TB in the country by setting up the Ceylon National Association for the Prevention of Tuberculosis. Since then, this association has provided the country and the Ministry of Health a great service. We continue to perform a valuable service in the country with a program of work which meets the government's needs and involves teachers and school children to whom we give an insight into health education and the prevention of tuberculosis. <laughs> health programs conducted in schools. Since school children are one among the many powerful progressive forces in the country, both the schools and their pupils' involvement in the TB control program serves as a significant factor. We believe school children have the scope and opportunities to spread the information and knowledge of how TB can be controlled 
among their friends, family members, and to a great extent, the people. Coordinating the DOTS treatment services. The task of coordinating the services provided by the DOTS strategy has been entrusted to the district's chest clinics. Volunteers at the clinics providing DOTS treatment should attend these clinics daily. With the information they obtain from the clinic staff, they should investigate and follow up on the diagnosed patients who have not been reported to the clinic. Keep the district chest clinic informed of the patients who are not taking their prescribed medication according to schedule. Existing public awareness programs. Among the many problems we face in the battle against TB in Sri Lanka, the major drawback is the reluctance of patients to take their six-month course of drugs. This situation has been created by misconceptions in society, which lead to prejudices in people's minds about TB patients. This results in their being treated as outcasts. This could also be the reason why patients fight shy of attending the clinics for tests. We believe that the time has come for us to destroy these misconceptions about TB in people's minds and make it quite clear to society that TB is a curable disease, which can be completely cured with treatment, and we must ensure that the response from the public will be favorable. <laughs> 